Hey gang, out again here today with the Plug Master. And uh, this is kind of cool. I found this big old slag of asphalt, and in the asphalt poured into it is this copper, looks like a copper trinket. It was laying right in there in the asphalt. So I'll clean it up a little better and see what it is, but it's kind of cool. It had been rolled into the asphalt somehow. That's pretty cool find. Okay, let's see what else we can get. We're just getting started. So. First find of the sad day is a silver for yeah. Ford. I, d I dug a clad nickel. Oh, you did? All yeah. right. And so this is a 36. Wow. Which is awesome. That is awesome. Coming awesome back to the same find. silver hole and already got silver. Yeah, no mint mark. So 1936. That's awesome, dude. Excited Good about job. that. We'll keep going. Super. Call this the silver hole yard. Yeah. That's wow. Unbelievable. There it is. We've only been here about 10 minutes. Already busted the silver. Virginia, there is still some left. Mm -hmm. All right, good job, buddy. On to the next cool. one. All right, second silver so far for Jeffy. That's two in about 30 minutes, so. Cool, you got any wheat yet? No, I've only, dug, I've only dug three coins. Only three coins, two that's silvers. a pretty good percentage, isn't it? Two silvers and a uh, wow. uh, modern nickel. Well, I say modern, it was a 1940. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's pretty good. Pretty old nickel. Yeah, it is. Right before the buffalo. Yeah. Or after the buffaloes. Right after All right. before the one. That's so. cool. Let's get inside the fence here and see what we can yeah, find. We're getting ready to go crazy. Yep. Watch for the poo, though. There'll yeah. be poo in there, he said. So we're going to have to dog fence poo, and maybe the rain washed it out a little bit last night. All right, so guys, I got the board on the spot here. We're doing a live dig. We've He's killing silver this morning, so uh, oh, putting pressure rude. on him here. Oh, he's crying about the roots, but they are bad, I will say. We're in the dog pen right now. A lot of the dog dirt's been moved around in here by the doggy digging and stuff, so I'm not sure. It's not quite as good as what we had hoped in here so far, but <laughs> one good coin is worth a thousand words, right? I thought you were going to say a thousand poopies. Yeah, well, I haven't hit any poopy yet, but... I smell it. Well, I think the rain washed a lot of it into the ground, but the roots this are is, just unreal. This is way deeper than... Mm -hmm. Had a good signal, but these roots are just. Uh, this is a 1247, 1345 mm -hmm. on the CTX. Getting some depth there, anyway. Yeah. Sometimes them roots will force their coins down. Sometimes they force them up. In this case, they may have forced them down. This one is showing six inches. Six inches. That'd be a tough one to get. There he goes. He's got a. That could just be falsing. Well, but see, you got to work in between these roots. All right. And then try to push it up on the other side. I can't tell you how many we've pulled out of roots. Mm -hmm. Not just silver, all those buffaloes I found that last time. Yeah, we're going to work this yard real slow. The grass has been cut since yep. last time. Here. So, and the guy's pretty cool, so. We got a long time to hunt. So the finds might not be as plentiful, but maybe we'll get some Me better too. stuff. Still hitting? Yeah, straight down here. If I can just get down to it. There we go, now we're moving some earth. Ford's got that CTX figured out. I think he's been hunting with it long enough now. He's got it kind of broke in and got it all figured out. Sometimes it takes a while for you to learn your machine. It took me at least a year. And so until I've you really feel comfortable with what you're doing. And of course, the more you hunt, the better you get at it. And it's just the average, you know, trial and error thing. And you're always going to find those ones that are junk. That's just the way it is. Yeah, we're getting to her. If we thought they was all good, then we wouldn't need to hunt. We'd just go out there and say, well, we're going to dig nothing but these tones, and they're all going to be good. And unfortunately, that's not the case. So This is lost probably before the trees were even around here. It looked like the roots is coming on top of them. So he's getting down to where it's at now. Let's see what it is. Man, he's in a couple inches now. I'm hitting it 
getting another one. Don't want to scratch it up. It could be a pop tab. It could be. No, it can't. Okay, it says it can't be. It's really thinking it's silver here, so it could be a, a tin can like a Pepsi can from 1930. A real valuable Pepsi can. I'll sell it to you. Yeah. Any of you guys that dug in, dug them sidewalk strips, you dig them tin cans, they're killer at six inches. Now seven it does inches. have an iron grunt to it as well. But the solid, the signal was just too solid not to be something good. Where was it? What's going on? I gotta get down deeper. I can't. I'm not gonna give up on this one, Mike. I've already gave up on two. Mm -hmm. Rock out of here. Yep, there you go. It's probably right underneath it. Yep, that's what it is. There you go. Now you got some room to play. You're getting closer now. Yes, I don't know. No way. What is it? Let me see. Oh, the that nail. sweet. Told you I had an iron grunt. Doggone it. When they That's, have a bend in that, yeah. with the rust. Is that it? I stink at this, man. Why do I even metal detect? I don't Such know, man. Little... You got two silvers, but... That's called keeping it real. That's I just wasted all this film on him, thinking he was going to dig this. Man, but that hit good too. I'm not going to race it, man. We got to keep it real on here. Keep and, it real. And uh, I dug it. I'm proud of it. That's why they call it metal detecting and not getting. I'll it's hunting. It's all get out when I throw it away too. Yep, because we would definitely get some good stuff here. Oh, I'll the next buddy one. over. Well, Jeffy, he's done hit two silvers, and I don't know. I think I got a silver here, but I'm going to come over here. Hope I don't get spoofized on it. I'm in the ivy. I'm thinking about getting a chainsaw and cutting this bush down. That's why he called me over so I'd get up in there and get it for him. But I can see it right there. The it's high tone, so it better not be a pull tab. Oh. See it? That's uh, at least a quarter, buddy. I think so. Where'd he go? We lost it, man. It's done. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that might be bigger. Dude, that's got, no, I think it's a. I think it's something good. Oh, close your eyes, I got it. All right, you get it? Close your eyes. Oh, it's a quarter. A quarter? A quarter. What is it? Don't, don't look, man, don't look. I'm not gonna look. Oh, it's just oh, a Washington. It's a Washington. <laughs> uh, it's a 44, I found a 44 yeah. in his yard. Cool. Good find, right, buddy. man, awesome, three silvers. Silver on the board, baby. Yeah, let's that's take a, a 15 silver out of this yeah. yard. Cut this tree down, this little you know bush. That? Yeah, it's 15 silver out of the shirt. That's awesome, man. Good Super. day, buddy. Yeah, good job, man. Just keep going. All right, guys, All right. got my first weed here of the day, down about four inches. 1920 model. That's encouraging. Maybe there's some silver out here yet. Gang, right there right. it is. About four inches down, another weedy. Good green one, too. See that? Uh, it's going to have a good date on it. I'm going to have to clean it up later, though pretty crusty but I think I can get a date off of it. Cool fine. Alright, let's see if we can get another one. new spot now. Look down there in the bottom of that hole. That's good. It's that deep. That's a pretty deep coin. Right at the bottom of the hole. See it? Got a little scratch on it there. I think it's a wheat. As deep as it is. A wheat head. Not sure of the date. It's not not a greeny. Just around this red dirt ground here. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll get the date later, but all right, on to the next one. Cool. Hey gang, gotta have the car for the day. Cool, fine. All right, see what else we can get. 
Yeah, yeah. cool. It is. Is it old, Dave? Pretty old. Let's see what year it is. 1944. Oh, it says 1941. 41. Hey guys. 1943. 43. That's, That's one awesome. of those. Yeah. That's a good awesome. find, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah big sure was. find. All right, man. We'll see if we can get some more. Awesome. Yeah. See ya. Hey, gang. Missouri Mike back again. It's been a while since I posted one, but uh, this is going to be called Going Back to the, the Silver Yard or the Dream Yard. Uh, we went back to a place that we had hit for seven hours straight and it still gave up a few coins actually ended up getting a nice silver coin here 1944 seven quarter that's sweet got a 46 wheat 44 wheat and two 1920 wheats one was a D and one wasn't. Got a little bit of clad. Now the yard next door Jeff hit, uh, and I hit too, but the side I was on was all fill. I didn't get anything over there. I don't know if I found a coin hardly, and he hit a couple silvers over there, and I, I think a V nickel too, or a buffalo, another buffalo, but it was a good hunt. Um, unfortunately, it didn't end up as quite as good as what I want, but I got silver. That's always good. Had a good time, that's always better. I did get this old pocket knife, it's kind of cool. I like those kind of things for some reason. Not worth nothing. Anyway, it's a good hunt, as they all are, whether you find a lot or not. So, hey, you guys get out and do some looking. Be careful, it's getting hot out now. And as always, on to the next one. This is Mike, and I'm out.